Hey y'all, so it is day 27. Three more days till the end of this month. Um, excuse what I'm looking like right now, but I just was gonna take this braid out because look at how hangy it is. That looks like it's about, that's probably about an inch and a half. But it doesn't matter because it's all about length retention. So after a couple braids I took out, you know, a couple days ago, yeah. um, within this week, or the, you know, last week, the third week, um, I noticed my hair is growing and it grew fast um, the third week. I think it grew probably a little more than what it did the, or not a little more, about the same it did the first two weeks. So I think it grew an inch and a half in the third week. Now we're in the fourth week. I don't know if it's gonna grow a lot just because, you know, the first two weeks my hair only, it grew an inch the first week really fast. And then the next week, the second week, it only grew like a half an inch, so an inch and a half. But all in all, I do believe I at least retained at least two inches of hair from the growth it did. So an inch and a half plus an inch and a half is like three inches. And that's about how much it's grown so far. I have three more days left of this month, but I'm gonna just go with three inches and I retain two of those inches, it looks like, from the braids I took out. We'll see what this one looks like. But this one is on the edge, y'all. And like y'all gonna see, a lot of my edges came out after having the COVID thing. So, uh, ooh, this one is kind of off. So as you can see, I don't really have any build up or anything that's all the growth so we'll see what it looks like what it looks like yes so this piece is kind of long y'all i thought it was going to be short but honestly that extra inch and a half that it grew it really helped it to really like grow um, but like I said, I think I only retained two inches from the the amount that it has grown these last, um, you know, this last month, um, cause it started at 18 inches. It's a little past my tattoo. This is about the longest my hair has been. The longest it would get to is like this, y'all, you know, the crease, about the crease of my uh, armpit. So it would get about right here and stop a lot so this is about an inch and a half more than that so the fact that my hair is growing i'm happy about that that's amazing and this part is getting thicker because like i mentioned Hair, when you're in the antigen stage, which is the growth phase of hair, your hair is not gonna grow, once it starts that antigen stage fresh, once it, it just started the whole process over from the transitional phase, the catagen, and then to the um, telogen phase, and your hair is just resting, which is the shedding phase, which it lasts up to, it could last up to three to four months. Um, then the process starts over and goes back to your antigen stage. It starts off slow. So it will start off like your hair will grow, it will be growing, but slower rate and probably not as full and thick to its potential, but then they have a space within the antigen once it's like in that middle part of the antigen of, you know, after it started and stuff and it gets to like probably that more stronger antigen phase which your hair can start growing faster, thicker, fuller. That's like a treatment stage where you can actually treat your hair and you can manipulate it to do what you want, whether it's grow faster, fuller, thicker, whatever and stuff. So um, I saw a chart so you guys can see, but um, other than that, like, I believe that's what happened to my hair because this hair is all was growing, you know, obviously it's like you can see like right here. It's growing, but I noticed once I started doing my, um, so it's probably my antigen stage probably started um, back in, I'm gonna just say really January it started, but March was when I believe it was the best ideal stage for my hair, which was the treatment stage. And luckily I just started 
adding in my products more than twice a week and um, adding all three of these together for the week instead of just the, um, the two, which was this extra stimulating strength plus length plus the CMOS. So I'm doing the three, I'm doing all three. So um, for up to five times a week versus the two that I was doing. So I do see that this hair is getting so much fuller right here. The hair that I've been having in these this past month, y'all, this is all the thicker part. And I believe this is like the, the stage of my hair, of the antigen stage that is like ideal for hair growth, optimizing hair growth and optimizing like the fullness and things like that. Now I'm not expecting to have full thick hair because I have fine thin hair and genetically that's just probably what I was predisposed to based off of my parents and what type of hair they have. So genetics plays a role in I believe um, from my understanding of doing the research with how the antigen can last up to which is the growth phase can last up to two to seven years and things like that. Um, I believe that genetics play a role in how long your antigen stage lasts. But um, as far as how long your hair can get while you're in that antigen stage, I believe you can manipulate your hair to grow as long as it can for as long as your growth phase cycle is. So genetically, it has nothing to do with how long your hair can grow, nothing. Now, it's up to you to know your hair and learn your hair so you'll be able to optimize the growth of your hair and the health of your hair within your antigen stage. So that's a different, that's a whole different thing, y'all. So for me, my growth phase, I believe lasts up to two years, just looking back, because every two years I would notice my hair falling out. It would be nice and long, and you guys can go look back at my old videos and see, kind of see every two years. And as of now, I've been on YouTube for about six years. Oh, but here's the thing. Once you know and learn your hair and what stage you're in as far as the shedding and the transition and all that and stuff in the growth phase, you can better know how to treat your hair, right? But because of my products, you guys, um, the, the one like this, the, the ones with the caffeine and of course the sea moss hair butter, because of all the um, epigalactin and um, proteins and vitamins and minerals in the caffeine, it actually... Um, does something as far as expanding the antigen stage. It can expand your antigen, your growth phase. That's why I was saying you can manipulate your hair. If with the right products and the right understanding of what your hair needs and how it grows, you can manipulate it to do and grow as fast as you want. Okay, so since mine is two, normally I believe every two years, my growth phase lasts. As long as I'm not cutting it, um, like crazy as long as I'm not, um, you know, having it break and split and I'm taking very good care of my hair. My hair can grow really, really fast, which maybe it can go up to three years instead of the regular two. I don't know. We're testing that out right now. Um, I'm just trying to see too. So 2022, I believe my, my antigen stage started over and I'm going to just say, um, uh, 2024 January would be the end of my two years but maybe because of using my products the caffeine in it which can prolong the energy stage it will last longer and then so the caffeine can also open up the hair follicles which causes your hair to kind of kind of, the way I look at it is flow out quicker so instead of it going at a regular rate it can grow faster so Thankfully, those are properties of that caffeine and all the other ingredients mixed in with the hair serums and hair butter. They work together to maximize fast hair growth, um, strength, length, um, health, uh, fullness, all of that, okay? So that's what I'm, I'm realizing. See the difference? And then this hair is like the probably the regular hair that I was growing right here that it was growing when I was using my, just the um, extra stimulating strength plus length and the CMOS hair butter for the last, for the few months before this. I mean, it was growing, but it probably wasn't growing as full as it is now that I'm using all three. So I hope that all made sense to y'all, okay? So we just gotta understand our hair and how it grows, but the look of my hair, y'all, the way it's growing, I'm I'm completely content with this. Like I said, I'm not looking for super, super thick hair. That's not probably ever gonna be my hair. It will be full, meaning um, feel fuller and look fuller because there's no split ends or there's no breakage happening. And that's my ultimate goal. The, the density of my hair is, I believe density is genetics. <laughs> 
I just believe that. I don't think I'm gonna create new um, hair follicles on my head that weren't there from birth. Like God literally numbered each hair on our head. So I believe God had a specific number of hairs that's meant to come out of my head and stuff. Now, as far as those hairs coming out all at once and keep growing all at once, that can improve the fullness of my hair because after a while or just based off of lifestyle and the and diet and just life, your hair follicles, some of them can stop growing, which can make your hair seem thinner. So for me, I believe I've been reactivating some old hair follicles that I probably didn't see for some years because of adding in this one with my routine and doing it five times a week. So, um, you know, I definitely believe genetics has a role with density of hair and of course hair type like texture and hair type so but as far as the growth of your hair and how long it can grow within your growth phase your antigen phase i don't think that has anything to do with genetics at all but i'm gonna do a whole nother video breaking it down in the stages and like i've been saying i've been repeating myself but if you're new thank you for tuning in you guys just kind of got a mouthful and the ones that's been tuning into the series these episodes of my growth season hair journey then um, welcome to have you back but yes this is the almost the end of of the first month of me being consistent and yeah i've been getting growth results as you guys have been able to tell like <laughs> this look at that that one grew a lot wow that one grew a lot so i the, today will be the last day i add in oils and then tomorrow will be the rest um will be no product and then monday will be technically i'll be showing you guys um what my hair looks like monday will technically be the 29th day but if i go at the end of monday like towards um after 10 30 a.m monday then it will technically be the 30 day i don't know i kind of got not i didn't get off track but i'm gonna just go into probably tuesday and show you guys like um the measurements but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and add in this last set of <laughs> product so you guys can take a look see at what this looks like i took out a lot i'm gonna lie i know i was trying not to but some of them y'all was just hanging this time look at see how much this has grown look at how much this grew that's that's low key probably two that's probably two inches. This doesn't look like it. Y'all, hold on. Hold on. Where is that? Wow. That's a lot. Look at that. This is not even, hasn't been even two weeks, but look at how much that has. Y'all, my hair keeps growing like this. I'm super excited. I'm super pumped. I'm super amped. I am not cutting my hair until I get the length that I want, past, like a little past the length, at least five inches past the length that I desire. And then I'll cut it to that um, waist length and we'll go from there. But I should be well into my antigen stage and probably still have a year left by the time I reach that. That's my goal. That's my goal. I want to be able to enjoy my hair while it's in the antigen phase and still growing and stuff. But I think I got over the cutting, cutting situation, y'all. I think I did. I think I'm, I, I kind of got over it because I realized just like when you stop something and then you, and you start over, like just because you start over doesn't mean it's going to make it better. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we just have to get through it, whether it doesn't matter what it looks like, doesn't matter how it feels. We have to sometimes just let things be and just get through it the best way we can without getting frustrated, without feeling like we have to throw in the towel, without feeling like we have to give up and without feeling like we have to cut off, cut it off, cut people off, cut it off, whatever it is. Like we have to sometimes grow through it. And that's what I'm doing. I'm growing my hair through this season without feeling like I have to cut it every month, every three months, every time. That's why braids is helping me because by me just keep braiding up my hair, I don't have time to see it. When I was just, you know, wearing it out, whether it was in this curly state and then I'll feel like, oh, I got to straighten it. And once I straighten it, I will feel like I have to cut it. Once my hair gets down to here, 
y'all that's a whole nother situation because then i'll have more hair to work with you get what i'm saying so if i cut it even if i cut an inch off and now using my own products that grow my hair super fast it would be like I'm not even missing any hair. But prior to creating my own products, you know, using products consistently that will actually work my hair and um, all that, I didn't have a set routine that I felt worked. I didn't have something that I knew I can, a, a good system that I knew I can fall back on if my hair got short. Now I'm confident once I get my hair long, it won't be no more short hair. At first I thought it was ponytails, y'all. I mentioned in past videos, ponytails will grow my hair and things like that, but it will grow my hair to a certain extent. But because of all the brushing and the things like that, and I wasn't using products that was growing my hair super fast, before I knew it, I felt like the, the ponytails will grow my hair to a certain extent, but once it got the length, it would stop growing or stop acting ridiculous and start thinning out. So probably because of all the constant brushing up and all that, and then I'll braid the little ponytail after I put it in and then twist it around and all the little pieces from the ends was probably breaking off. So my hair would just, you know, it will grow, then I'll cut it because the ends look raggedy. It will grow, then cut it. So I'm, I'm like, at the point, I realized well, maybe the ponytails aren't working, you know. So, yes, I'm just glad I found the system, y'all. I know I just rambled, rambled on and on, but um, I just wanted to get that out. Um, now I'm going to add in my butter. This is the last time I'm going to be putting it in for this month before I do these braids over, y'all. But as you can see, these braids look a little bit more intact. I'm super pumped. Pump, pump, pump it up, pump that up. Softball days. Ah. Pump that type of spirit up. <laughs> but yes, y'all, we are on our way to waist length day. I was shocked. I thought this little piece was gonna be all short, but you know, it's growing, it's growing. See, I just feel like I broke off a couple pieces. This is why I can't have my hair in my hands because I'm already feeling like little pieces are breaking off, the weaker parts. <laughs> Once I get my hair right here, that's when I'll know I'm like in the game. That's when I'll know. So this is the whole, ooh, see, this is, this is the first piece that shed it from that braid that I just took out, the first piece. I'm not really getting wet shedding, which is good. I'm gonna braid this piece up and then add in these products.
Hey y'all, so today is day 28 of my um, golf season. I'm gonna put in a whole nother set of braids. I'm gonna do like different colors for, and try to stretch the braids up to a month. I know I've been saying that, but I really am for the next five months because doing it every two weeks just is gonna be too much. And I know this is only two weeks, but it, and it looks a hot mess. But I'm going to just have to do what I have to do because I don't want to keep unraveling the hair either because I feel like as I'm unraveling them, the ends that are weaker are kind of breaking off. So I don't want that to happen. But the hair that is healthy, it it's, it's good. But I think I'm going to have to cut off a lot more. After the six months, October 17, 2022 is going to be the end of the six month day. So I'm going to just cut off whatever I feel like needs to go. I'm hoping my hair does not split up all the way to the healthy new growth within these next five months, but that's what I'm saying. The less I go into my hair and um, unravel them and take them out and see how much it's grown or whatever, like, you know, every few days or once a week or twice a week, I feel like it shouldn't get so bad, but I am gonna chop off whatever needs to go. And yes, my goal length is waist length. With the rate of my hair growing from the braids and using my products, I feel like it could be that length by, well, not that length by October after the, the chop that I plan on doing, not, not after the big chop. It could be that length, waist length before I chop off whatever I want to chop off which is about five to six inches or or, or so um, but I'm not going off of that I'm starting from where the healthy hair is so being that it's like right here now this is technically where if I was to cut off all the dead hair even though it comes down to about right here um, this is where my hair would technically be in the front it's all as short as like right here um, but it can go shorter, like right here, if, if the, I just go along with the real full thick hair that grew in over the month, like literally it's like stops about right here and that's all full and thick and healthy. So there's a lot of different, um, lengths that I can cut my hair, but I'm going to go with probably the thickest at the end of the six months. Um, I really don't want any thin ends because whatever length my hair is after the six months i plan on doing another journey if it's not um at waist length i'm gonna get it to waist length and i need all the thin ends to come off and i only want the thick hair moving forward so yeah that's just where i stand with that day 28 i have two more days left <laughs> i kind of feel like i should have chopped it all off before i started this but I didn't want to see the short hair, so I'm trying to grow it out. And I don't want my hair to get stuck at a certain length because it's so used to being cut once it gets to that length. So I'm trying to grow it past that, which it did grow past that, about an inch and a half past that. But it's like, ugh, if, it, if it's so thin at the end and it's breaking, it's just kind of annoying. So I'm, this is my first time not cutting my hair, even with all the strags. So I'm trying to see something. I'm trying to you know see what works and to get me past that length and hopefully the ends won't split up to the point where i'm like pretty much back at square one i'm hoping that is not the case so i just wish this five months will hurry up i just because i get so like um impatient and i want to see and i want to take braids out and da -da 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 -da. so yeah i just can't wait till this five months is over so i can just cut off whatever needs to be cut off okay but that's where i'm at i'll check back in with you guys okay